Hey guys, Brett here, and today I got Ray Lane. And Ray Lane is going to talk to us about a cool new video feature that he discovered how to do with Facebook. Now, I've been trying to get with Ray all day today, but he's been extremely busy, and fortunately, he's found the time to talk to me. So, Ray, I want to thank you for finding the time to come here and talk with me. No, no problem. And and let's get it right here. It's not that I was busy. It's that Mike had me on for, you know, like five hours today when we did an interview, so... I know. I told Mike to quit, quit, quit uh, sliding into my time <laughs> spot. You know, I, I I sent him a little Skype message so he knows to. There you go. Press so that's okay. Him. We're we're here now, and 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 this is where we need to be. So it's exciting stuff. Okay, so FB Livewire. Now this is live video on Facebook, correct? It is, and and uh, I want to bring this up right at the beginning because I know a lot of people have been hearing a lot about Facebook Live, and and immediately they think of you know, people holding up their cell phone in front of their face, which is great, by the way. I, I love those kinds of videos on Periscope and on Facebook Live. They have a lot of great use to them, especially for engaging audiences. But what we're talking about is doing high-end video production or even webinar-like productions specifically and sending them out to Facebook Live on your Facebook channel so it's or on your Facebook uh, page, rather. So and, the thing that's make, that makes this really different is that it's not using your phone. Right. It's not using your phone at all. It's using your webcam. If you had professional cameras, you could be using those. You could be using screen share, showing a PowerPoint presentation, doing software demos, adding other videos, graphics, overlaying graphics, animations. You name it, you can do it inside of Facebook Live. It's very, very slick. That's actually what got me interested and got me wanting to talk to you. And I'll totally admit that the reason I wanted to interview you about this product is for twofold. Obviously, I wanted to know about the product and I, I want to consider promoting it. Uh, but the other reason is because I want to know how to do this. and <laughs> I'm hoping that you'll show me how to do it. You know, yeah, absolutely. And, and I'll tell you, you know, the great thing about it is it is so good for doing demonstrations and for trainings. And one of the things that we've been doing is going into our Facebook uh, groups and putting these live videos, training people on how to do stuff. And they're able to comment and we're able to comment back live while we're doing it. So maybe I'm showing them how to do green screening with a video and I'm showing them all the buttons to press and they're asking, okay, wait, what about this? And you know, it's a great interactive experience and, and it just absolutely works and people show up. That's the, the amazing thing about it is people come out of the woodwork to show up for these live videos and that just blows my mind. I guess if you're doing it on Facebook, they don't actually have to show up because they're already there because Facebook already has so many people. It's not like you're saying, meet me at a certain time and we're yes. going to open up this program and I'm going to email you. They're already on Facebook anyway. And, you know, I, I've been seeing guys like, you know, uh, Ricky Mateka comes to mind. Hugh Hughes comes to mind. Uh, Chris Record does it a lot. They've been doing those phone, those phone ones. Sure. And like I, I've been wanting to do them so bad, but like <laughs> you know, I, got, I got the wrong phone, man. Like, I, I have an Android. And my, right now, I can't do them on, with my Android. I, I, was I, believe, I believe you should be able to do it now. You might need to do some sort of an update, but it should be on Android at this point, I believe. So It's only, it's only some accounts, not even our uh, own. They're, they're doing like the testing mode in Android now. Yeah, that's so, crazy. Yeah, like I was going to buy like an Apple device just so that like I can do these like shares. And it's cool because what I really want to do anyway is show my screen. So right. now I don't have, you know, hopefully after talking to you today, I won't have to buy, spend a couple of hundred dollars on an Apple that I don't actually want. <laughs> no, not, not at all. And, and that's the cool thing is, you know, um, you don't have to spend a penny on anything, really. All you have to do is spend a little bit of time and just learn kind of the, the I, I, want, I don't want to say the tricks because it's, it's not a trick. It's not a hack or anything like that. It's actually functionality that's built into your Facebook page. And it's been there for about a week and a half. And not a lot of people know what's there. It's kind of hidden on your Facebook page, but you can go in and all you have to do is connect your Facebook page to some streaming software, which by the way, is my favorite price. It's free and it's very powerful. And really the streaming software is the thing that makes the difference on all of this. It actually does 90% of the work for you. And the reason it does that is because what you're doing is you're feeding your video sources into this free program and then that program is streaming out directly to Facebook and putting it onto your page. So it's very easy to do. You know, I, I always notice that you're like 
You're like cutting edge. You like always know how to do the new things first. Like, I mean, you must just sit at your desk all day long and just be like, um, I wonder if I could figure out a way to do this. It's so sad. I never leave. <laughs> like, you're like a video nerd, Ray. Don't get offended by that. No, no. You know what? It, it's totally true. Uh, and, you know, we were talking about this before is, uh, you know, when, when, um, when YouTube came out with their changes where they added the clickable links, I mean, we had a product that was out you know, within the, I think actually we, we were working on a product when they came out with that. So we dumped that in there so fast and we had that out in like two days and it, yeah, we're just always looking for that kind of stuff because, you know, especially if it's cutting edge like this and, and to me, honestly, and, and I don't say this all the time and I don't say this just because, you know, we've got a product coming out or whatever. I think that this is one of the most important video changes that have come about in a couple of years. I've not I've not been excited about a video product as much as I am about this one right now. Why well, for anybody that's like for anybody that's wondering like why like live Facebook videos is important. Can you just give us like a, an idea of why it would I mean I know it would be in why it's important. I understand why it's important. I'm not a very articulate person. Uh, and I'm sure people like watching this interview right now are thinking to themselves like, well, so what? I can put a live video on Facebook. Why is that important though, Ray? Can you express well, it better than I'll, I can? I'll tell you, there, there's, there's, I'm going to break it into two parts. Uh, the first part is the actual personal part. People love the, the live videos. They love the interaction. And for whatever reason, you know, they, they know you're live. They're more interested. Uh, will that fade with time? I don't know. But, you know, I, I was on Periscope before this doing the the you know, phone in front of your face stuff. And it amazes me how quickly you get an audience when you just go live with a video. And the same thing happens on Facebook. But from a technical standpoint, there's also another reason you really want to get involved with this. And that's because Facebook actually puts their weight behind your live productions. And what I mean by that is when you post something to a Facebook page, uh, let's say you have 5,000 likes on your Facebook page. If you put out, you know, hey, check this out and a link, just a piece of text and a link, a very, very small portion of your audience is going to get that on their timeline. Very small. And we're talking like, a, you know, out of 5,000 people, you might, that might only end up on a dozen people's timelines. Wow. Okay? It's, it's that bad. And of course, you know, main reason is because you can pay to boost and make sure that it gets to them, you know, pay your $5 or $10. So there's that aspect of it. But basically, they weight a link and a piece of text as very low quality. And so they don't put it out to a lot of your, your people. The next thing up would be if you put, um, you know, a, a text message and a, uh, a picture. They see that as a little more important. So now you're getting 20, 30, 40 people that it's put in front of, which again, very, very tiny percentage of, of your, your group. You move that up uh, as you put a video up there. And when I say a video, I mean upload a video to Facebook. That's going to get you more engagement because they want to push their platform. Now, if you put, here's the cool thing though, or, or the, the not so cool thing. Nowadays, if you put a YouTube video on your Facebook page, they actually weight that down because they want you to use their platform. So if you put your video on Facebook itself, it's going to get more reach. And by reach, I mean it's going to end up on more people's timelines that like your page than a YouTube video will. They'll just purposely hold it back. But here's the cool part. <clears throat> They're pushing these live videos so hard right now that you, you can get literally 20 times the reach just by doing a video. And we've got some pictures on the sales page that show this where my very, by the way, I'm the worst Facebook page owner in the world. I'm terrible at being a Facebook page owner. They should probably kick me out because I don't do a very good job of, you know, interacting with people on there and, and posting, you know, great things. I've got some tools that'll auto post things out there, articles and pictures and things, but you'll look at my, my engagement and it'll be, you know, oh, he posted this article from Real SEO and it got, you know, it reached 20 people and one person commented. And you'll see that all the way down the page, 20, you know, 20 or 30 people reach zero to two comments. And then all of a sudden you see this giant bar next to all these little tiny things. And it says 1.6 thousand people reached. And that was the Facebook live video that we did. The very first one we did. And I went from getting 20, getting it in front of 20 people to getting it in front of 1600 people 
just by doing a live video. And we went from getting zero to one comments on an article to getting over 150 comments on the video itself. And we've seen this happen over and over again because you can look at other pages and you'll see 10, 12, 20, 12, 10, and then all of a sudden 500. So it's, it's amazing how much they will push this out in front of your audience to make sure that more of your audience sees the Facebook Live. You know, honestly, when, when Facebook says that, when you were talking about like the reach that you get for the different types of posts, what Facebook is actually doing there is they're reaffirming what you are saying about uh, the different quality of posts. So, so the lowest one is text, right? Yep. And Facebook doesn't show that to that many people. And the reason Facebook doesn't show that to that many people is because they know that nobody wants to read text. If right. I wanted to read text, I get a book. I don't want to go to Facebook and read text. Then they rank pictures a little bit higher because they know that pictures are a little more instant. They're a little more fast in a fast paced world and you can get your message across. People like pictures a little bit better. And then finally videos because I mean, I know when I go on Facebook, like I'll go on Facebook to message you or something. And sure. next thing I know, I'm watching videos for 20 minutes. I'm like, what the hell did I just do? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that happens to me all the time and dirty little secret download the Facebook chat app, find a chat app, and then you don't have to deal with any of that. It's like having your own just for chatting. So I, I, I might, I might actually do that because I really think that I would be twice as productive if I didn't have Facebook on my computer. Sometimes. I've, I've found that to be the case and that is true, but here's what you would miss out on all those times where it pops up and says, you know, John Smith has just gone live and you know, and that's where you get a lot of your engagement is you're sitting there watching Facebook and one of your Facebook pages that you've liked or, or somebody that you know, that little thing pops up and says, you know, I get it all the time. Owen Hemsath is live right now. Oh, let's watch that. And I click on it and watch him, you know, in the studio shooting a video or whatever. So it's very, very cool stuff. We were talking about this before we, we began recording. There's something about live. There's something about knowing that it's live. It's, it's I don't yeah. know if it's like a little, the little tiny voyeur in all of us. <laughs> or, or you know, or what it is, but there's something about knowing that it's live. I mean, when you're probably because I think maybe because it feels more real. Like when yeah. we're when we're doing something, when you're doing a pre-recorded video, you you can edit out mistakes. You can edit it out if you make something, say something wrong, or if you be silly and don't want to, you know. But you can't do that in a live video. It's it's more real, so it's more personable. It is. And, and, you know, we're social creatures. We like to interact. We like to be part of social things. And that's why there are so many softwares out there that make a ton of money selling you fake live stuff, you know, uh, pre-canned responses that look like they're talking to an actual person or pre-recorded webinars that look like they're live. It's because people like live stuff. They're more interactive with live stuff. And that's exactly what you're giving them. Um, you know, Mike, we talked earlier, he talked about how he had taken a presentation that he'd done previously, put it on Facebook Live, and the audience, you know, he wasn't trying to trick them into thinking this, but he just put the video out there, ran it through Facebook Live, and people jumped on that, and they were commenting back and forth with him because they thought they were watching it live, and he got a lot more engagement that way. So even though it was a pre-recorded thing, he was interacting with them live, and the presentation, this was the first time they saw it. So it was a very good uh, a good experience for them. And, and, you know, you get a lot more interactivity. And I don't know about you. I don't know how often you do webinars, but webinars mean money. When you do a webinar, it means money. And, you know, uh, you know everybody on there is going, wait a minute. Brett keeps bringing me on webinars. He's trying to get money out of me. <laughs> I was but, like you know, thinking in the back of my head, like, I want to agree with him. But at the same time, I don't want to agree with him. <laughs> but, but no, yeah. it's, it's true. You know, I mean, uh, when, when you do, and for anybody who's going to do a webinar, think about it this way. One of the issues with webinars is people always have to sign up. Now, that can be a good thing. If you're bringing in, you know, a bunch of people that you don't know into the webinar, you're signing them up. That's great because now you've made contacts. But if you've already got an audience and you're bringing them to a webinar and they've got to re-sign in with their name and their email, you know, it gets kind of tedious and it clogs up your, your Aweber account or whatever you're using as well because now they've signed up to another list. But the thing with these Facebook Lives is you can do the exact same things you do in a webinar but right inside of Facebook. So imagine, you know, imagine you're going to do a webinar on, on uh, how to use, uh, you know, your latest software. Well, now you can do it right on Facebook Live and you can tell people, hey, 
you know, we're going to go live at noon, so show up on my Facebook page at noon. And that's all they have to do is go to the Facebook page. When do you do this? Now, this only works on Facebook page or it works on groups too? Or Well, this is the, this is the interesting thing. Um, inside of Facebook itself, they only have it available for your Facebook pages. However, the functionality does exist to do it in groups, to do it on your, your personal profile, um, but they don't have any tools built into Facebook. So what we've actually done, and this is, you know, in our product, which is uh, FB Livewire, one of the upsells is if you want to be able to do it to uh, your personal profile and you want to be able to do it to groups, we have a special piece of software. It's it's really, I don't even know, well, you're a coder. I don't know. I'm probably insulting the word software when I say software on this. It's literally a button that you press that allows you to interact with Facebook Live and your groups and your personal profile. Um, but unfortunately, they don't have it in Facebook, so you have to have this third-party, for lack of a better word, software to do it for you. And so that's one of the things that we've created is, is that ability to do that from there. Because I mean, I know I, I personally, I love Facebook groups. So I'm, I'm actually going to say, like, for people, I never do this either. <laughs> I never say this. If you decide to pick up Facebook Livewire, invest in the OTO. Uh, and, and that's something I never say. I never even test the OTOs. But really, like, <laughs> I'm a big, huge fan of Facebook groups. You know, I, I started building my Facebook group at the beginning of this year. I've got it up to 4,000 members. Nice. I, I, I get more clicks. When I do a promo in my Facebook group, this is for everybody that, that doesn't know the power of Facebook groups. When I do a promo in my Facebook group, I'll like say, here's my review on my, on my blog, and I'll put a link to it in my group, right? Very often, I get more clicks from that group, and I, use, I actually use my posting tool so I can track the clicks. I'll get more clicks from that group than other marketers do from their emails. That's amazing. And that's, and that's fantastic. I, I'm the same way. I love groups. I, every product that I create has a Facebook group. And, you know, it, the reason is because it's so easy to interact with people in there. Now, you know, in, in our one big group, I mean, we've got one like yours. We've got one with like 5,000 people in there. Um, I do trainings live in there now. Now, <laughs> I say I do that now. Of course, this whole thing's only existed for a week. So we've only done a couple of them so far. But we do the trainings live and we do, and this is the cool thing, we do product review videos live now. So rather than just doing a review of a software product, I do it live so people can ask questions and they can really see because there's always that, what I call the production barrier. And so let's say, you know, let's say you come out with a new software, you send it to me, I create a review video of it. They never know if I cut out the parts where, that didn't work or, you know, I cut out the parts that were really hard or that took a long time or whatever. If I do it live, it has to function and it has to function well, which means two things. One, I'm only going to do it with software that I really, really think is going to be good enough. And two, they know it's going to be working because they're going to see it right then and there and they're going to be able to ask questions. And as best as I can, I'm going to be able to answer those questions and test the things that they're asking for. And we've seen huge results from that. You know, I, I laughed when, when you said that because, like, I'm thinking in the back of my head that's the exact same thing. I, I, I'm thinking, like, I could do live product reviews in my Facebook yeah. group. Because really now, <clears throat> if you do a live, like, product review, this would be actually a great angle even for somebody just getting started as well who wants to have something that's unique to them. If you do a live product review, people can interact with you and say, hey, show me this menu. Show me this feature. I'd like to see that thing or what does that do? Whereas, like, if I'm doing a review – it's impossible for me to do a review and show every single aspect right. of a software in the review because the review would be three hours long. Well, you know, <laughs> and there's, there's one thing you have to be careful of too. Typ typically, a review video is probably going to be, uh, my, mine tend to go anywhere from like three minutes to 10 minutes long if I do a product review. You start doing them live and now they're going to be 20 minutes long. So just be aware of that before you get started with them that they can go longer. But that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that because what I've found is even with the replays of those, because people know we did it live, they'll watch the tw they'll watch longer. They don't mind that it's that it's a longer video, and that's actually actually kind of a cool thing. And the other part of it too, and and people may not realize this is, Facebook video is actually a lot more advanced than you might think. And when you do a video on Facebook, you can still embed that video on your website. You can still 
you know, do different things to it. You can add things to it. You can change the, the titles and the descriptions and you can add a call to action. So there's a lot of things you can do with Facebook videos. Now, one caveat to that, believe it or not, uh, the video system is actually smart. If you do a live video into a Facebook group, nobody can embed that video. So not even me. If I do a Facebook live in a group, I can't take that video and embed it somewhere else. They actually block that. It has to be in a public place in order for that video to be embedded. So I thought that was a really interesting thing. Well, yeah, that can, that can actually make sense. I mean, if I'm doing something oh, yeah. in my group, I mean, that's just for my group. I don't want somebody yeah. to say, here, oh, check out Brett's free training. Ha, ha, ha. He didn't, you didn't pay, you know? Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, and that, that, makes it, that makes it possible to literally do paid trainings in a group without having too much fear. Now, the, the cool thing is you can go and you can download your video and then you could post it somewhere else if you chose to. But yeah, you can't just embed it somewhere, which is fantastic, unlike... Uh, you know, most of the, the YouTube stuff that people do. And, and that's always something that kind of scared me with, with YouTube is, you know, people do high-end trainings and they put their videos on YouTube and then embed them into a training program. And it's so easy to get those videos, even if they're trying to hide them, you know, so you got to be careful with that. And this kind of helps out with that portion of things. I, I do that myself. I'm, I'm guilty of that. I use YouTube just for ease, you know, and uh, I'll be, I, I put inside of like, like on the bottom of my pro, of my training on my members area, I'll put text that'll say, look, you paid for this. Don't give it away. Okay. <laughs> like don't give it away. Cause you paid for it. I mean, if I can't stop you, but why would you do that? You know what I mean? Right. No, like, I get it. And I, and I've done it too. Cause it is, it's easy and it's simple and, and it doesn't cost anything to do that, which is always a good thing. You know, not that, not that hosting video on S3 is expensive, but certainly nicer to have it free. So, and you know, so I've done it too. But this kind of, it, it just gives you a nice way to make sure that people can't just share it around, which is, which is always kind of cool. So. Well, I have no doubt that even though I say those messages like, don't give away something for free that you pay, I have no doubt that people do it. Oh, I'm, I, mean, I guarantee it. People pay to go to the movies and then record the movies so they can give it away to people for free. You know, so. <laughs> <laughs> you know that, like they say, a, a lock on your front door isn't to keep out the robbers, it's to keep people from becoming robbers. There you if go. they're a robber, they're, they're going to get in some way no matter what you do. So, you know, you just have to protect yourself from the people who might think about it versus yeah, the people who yeah. are going to do it no matter what. So, Yeah, that's it. I like that. I like that analogy. So now this this system that you have, this Facebook Live Wire, now this is a, a free software. Now, I'm not going to ask you what the free software is because that's probably like one of your trade secrets. Oh, no, no, it's fine. It, it's, a, it's a software called OBS or the Open Broadcaster Software. So I have no problem letting people know that. But yeah, that's what we use with this particular system. Uh, it's not the only software you can use. You could use, there's a software called uh, Wirecast uh, that does the same types of things, but it costs $500. If you'd rather spend $500, you're feel, you can feel free to do that and kind of just uh, follow along. But uh, no, I mean, Open Broadcaster, amazing software for the price. And, and I should mention Open Broadcaster Studio is the one you want, still free. They have an older version and they have a studio version. Studio is the one you want to get. And uh, yeah, so it's I have no problem bringing that up because uh, you know if you want to grab it and play around with it, you certainly can. Um, and then in the training, we go through exactly how to do the different parts of it. And then we show you all the ways that you hook it up with uh, Facebook. So. So really, what they're what they're buying with Facebook Livewire is is the training. The they're they're buying the time that you spent to figure out how all this stuff works. Yeah, right? It, it it is that, and then in the upsell, you're buying the the magic button, which is a little bit of coding, you know, that was done there. But uh, for the most part, you're buying training. That that's exactly what this is: is how to. It's the uh, the missing manual, so to speak. Well, there's no. What I mean, how much does uh, how much does the front end cost? You mind if I ask? Uh, the front end we're just putting out there. It's it's just an ebook, so it's a the missing manual type type of ebook, and that one's seven dollars. So we're putting it for only a couple days. It's going to be for seven dollars, and then after that, it's going to be pulled down uh, because we're going to be putting it into a, a you know a, a bigger launch uh that's gonna be a lot more expensive so, <laughs> so seven <laughs> bucks. if you it probably took you a, a few hours to figure out how to make all this work oh it, it you know it took a little while well it yeah it did um the hardest part was doing the 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 groups and the uh the personal profile which to be honest with you i was like oh you just can't do it it's not possible okay and then we 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 I, <laughs> it's kind of funny we found somebody in China that was doing it. 
And so we had to try and figure out what the heck they were doing. And that sent us down this path. And then we kind of figured it out. And then we were able to make the code for it. And, and then it, you know, it worked. But yeah, it was if it hadn't have been stumbling across a, a website in, actually, I think it was in Korea. It was in, uh, in South Korea, I think. But yeah, it, had we not stumbled across that, we would have just been thinking, oh, it's not possible. Was, but, was that when you messaged me on Facebook? It was. I'm, I, I bet it was. This, you know what's going on. I told yeah, you. Oh, yes. That's yes, I did. Was. Yeah. I yep, that's that. exactly what that was. <laughs> yeah, and I remember. I didn't, I didn't know how it was. Yeah, now I know what you were asking. <laughs> at that time, I was like, I don't even know what you're talking about, right? <laughs> yep. So, yeah, that's what it was. I mean, you, you couldn't read anything on the page except for the, the button that said connect to Facebook. So, and we're like, okay, this works. How do we do it? And so we had to kind of figure it out. And, and then we put it together and, uh, you know, made it a little easier for everybody. And, and so that's what you're getting on the back end is the ability to do that to the groups and to the to the fan page uh, to the uh, personal pages. And that's going to be the OTO, right? That's the OTO. Yes. What's what's the price of the OTO? Uh, the, well, the OTO, what you're going to get on the front end for the seven dollars is the ebook and uh, a few other little goodies and things like that. And then on the back end, uh, we've got a full over-the-shoulder video course that's going to teach you, you know, step by step exactly what to do. It's going to you know, in the ebook, by the way, we go over a lot more than just this. We actually talk about the history of of uh, of live video, which you know you can skip those chapters if you want to get into the technical parts. But we kind of put a history in there. We talk about things like how to use your phone properly, and so those things are in there. And then we get into the chapters where we really go through how to do the high end videos. So it's a it's a very encompassing ebook. It's about seventy pages long. Um, so it's not a not a typical five page ebook or anything like that. It's pretty long, and then if you want the videos, you can get into the video course. That you're going to get all the over the shoulder videos. You're going to get some some production materials that you can use in your videos, which is always fun. And then on top of that, you can decide if you want to join the the uh, the use the Facebook groups and the personal profiles. And so we're talking about uh, the first upsell to the video course is seventeen dollars, and then the final one is twenty four. And so basically for, I don't know, $48 or so, you get into the entire thing um, if that's the path you want to go on. So, Ray, I don't want to say that your your products are cheap, so don't take this the wrong way, but you price your products very favorably. You are very reasonable with your pricing. Only for three days. Only for three, or Friday, so yeah, only for three days, though. <laughs> After the three days, you're going to turn into a money-hungry jerk, right? <laughs> that, that's exactly it. I, I change shape and everything. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, Ray. So I, I want to thank you for taking the time to talk to me. Uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, good luck with your launch tomorrow. Oh, thanks. And we'll, uh, we'll talk to you soon.